Because I feel like uh, Diddy's ESS is not like the most favorable matchup. It might not be the most fun, being that Diddy is so short and hard to hit. But I guess we'll see. Yeah, this first character pick, yeah, Diddy. Dude, notice how every Diddy plays this skin. There's not... Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's nobody else. Diddy Kong players are actually Diddy Kong fans a little bit. You know what I'm a saying? A lot. I feel like Diddy players love Diddy Kong. All of them. Yeah, James is just one of those players. It's the same with Luigi players. They just like Luigi. Yeah. And James, you know, he does Diddy Kong and Luigi does both. He's like, I like both. I like Monkey and <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> and Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. James starting off early, looking dominant. But that's kind of how he rolls. He just always starts out full blast. Yeah, James is somebody who, like, always puts his pressure out before you even get a chance to, like, think about anything. Yeah, 30 seconds in, the pace is already set. Like, yeah. Webb's going to have to put up against some defense. And and the thing is, in this matchup for ZSS, she has to be so precise. And, oh, the Z-drop, tether cancel into banana throw. That was slick. WebJP, obviously a very technical player. Um, no no down tilt F-smash. I'm not sure if that was a misinput. Up B, that's it. All right, Webb already making use of that banana, proving that he can... Uh, he can make use of his item. Because a lot of a lot of players are not necessarily scary with the opponent's item, but if you can prove that you can use it effectively, that's really big for the matchup. Yep. And also not yeah. Item play is just a huge part of playing against Diddy Kong, to be honest. Yep. And I think a big part of it is we're gonna see when James is gonna wanna pull banana, and Webb is probably gonna go and try to take it from him before he even gets it. I think that's like a very critical part about playing against Diddy Kong. Is see look at that, he put in the pressure immediately so he couldn't put it in his hand. But he still died, because Rivers has played this type of game so often. He just knows the tricks. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. It's like you can be good with items, but you you can't trick James. Yeah, you're nah, not going but the to. The Diddy Kong players are just gonna have a deeper understanding of playing with banana than you. Yep. Just, dude. Okay, James getting a a terrifying combo, but nothing. I'm just worried about the possible nair into dare or like up air into dare that happened to poor poor Atomist. <laughs> yeah, James is here. Oh no, he almost won that set three. Yeah, never mind. I was about to say the skin of his teeth because, but he won the game by skin of his yeah, teeth. Yeah, that was. Set. He needed to take that. Um, oh, good wait by Webb. That was well played, just kind of misexecuting. There we go. Damn, super patient right now. Oh, just getting under him with that up smash. Yeah, super I knew clean. a big part of this is just how Diddy Kong's either going to get under zero, zero Suit or outrange with the banana. You know, like, make a miss and then trip him up. And I feel like ZSS can usually land pretty safely versus most characters. All right, Webb bringing it immediately back. Um, and what I was saying is ZSS probably can't land too, too safely against Diddy with that banana, at least on a stage with, like, more open uh, real estate. Because he's got the platforms to retreat to. Careful being laggy against uh, Diddy. James is Diddy. By the ledge, man. That nair. Oh. That down air. Oh, calling out with the grab. Okay. Oh, yeah, the trick. Auto landing with the down air to pick up the banana. A James staple. Up air. That was an unfortunate trade. That could have been a lot more damage. That's it. Dang. Another crucial scenario where WebJP went for broke with a grab and then died for it. He go for grab on a side B from Diddy. I think James was side B in the middle of the monkey flip, and then he just reversed. And then okay. Am I wrong? I'm I'm not exactly sure how he got hit there. I just saw that Diddy Kong was over here. Yeah. Webb was over there that's with what a whip grab. Like, James was on the other side of the screen. He had to have been monkey flipping. Yeah. Right. All right. Now we get to see the replay. God bless Chris. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> Master hand gaming. Oh, okay. he he just rolled through. So honestly, just good awareness from James. What Getting am I that. talking about? I, I just made something up. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember what happened. Simple roll through. But that's just good good awareness, because a lot of the times, the ZSSs are going to approach you and do a down smash to try to catch your spot dodge, or call you out with a grab. Yeah, and most of the time, you're scared of hypersense, so you just hold shield. I'm actually learning a lot oh, from how James dealt with that, because ZSS can really put you in your track sometimes and get, and get really scared. But he knows it's just safe to roll out sometimes. Oh, we flying. Yeah, both these characters fly around quite a bit. D Diddy Kong with a side. Both these, pla these platforms make it so you, you want to use them for horizontal movement, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, nice. See, Webb's got all the tech. That weight bounce. 
that whiff was so weird. Oh my gosh, that was really unfortunate for Webb. That Barry should not should not have like uh, missed. That was unfortunate. That was a godlike trade, though. <gasps> that might be some damage. Okay, James not opting for like the really extended combo. James is looking like he's got momentum. He's definitely got the momentum. Oh, that's rough. Okay. Wow, I he grabbed least, a way less lag than I thought. He at least escaped without getting hit. Um, but that being said, I feel like we haven't seen Webb lose composure at any point so far. So, yeah. He, yeah. he brought it back with a, only 50 60%. He's definitely a calm player. You can just tell by, honestly, you can just tell by the face cam that he's like gonna be focused. He's not gonna get flustered or anything like that. Of course, momentum is always a factor, but. Yeah. Oh, and look, James is just scouting. He's just ready. He's rough. And then. Yeah, he's gotta. I feel like if you're having trouble versus Diddy, run away and just <laughs> reset and just go from there because I feel like when Diddy starts with high momentum, it's just really tough. Okay, down smash, up air. Oh, he was going for something. A I, like slick. The I like the fact that he's going to go for an extended uh, combo. Efto to push him off. He's not dead. Oh, going for that Efto. That may have killed. That Efto to two frame is so strong. Okay. Yeah, yeah. see, look at that. Webb should pick another stage. Man. That was... <laughs> James, it's like, you know how when you dash dance, you feel like you're activating your muscles, you feel like you're getting back in the flow of the game? Yeah. Those platforms just let James monkey flip across and back and forth. Yep. And he feels himself, honestly. I'm not, yeah. And At I'm, least that's what it looked like to me. And there was nothing about that game that seemed like James outplayed Webb super hard. He's just getting the better of him and, like, taking advantage. Like, And there was that one situation with the flip jump that just missed, and then James F-tilted, and then he got the stock. Yeah. Which kind of set the tone for that game. All right, Webb not opting to counterpick at all, just seeing it through with ZSS. I respect it. I didn't see what stage they picked. Oh, we're going to the same one. Yeah, he just went back. One, go. What? Wow. <laughs> what? Did he know or did he just do it? He knew. He definitely knew. Like, you don't just go for that. His grabs, I feel like they're good. They're just happen to not be landing when I've been watching. I feel like he has good No, grabs. his grabs are good. The thing is, when you miss with, when you miss his ZSS, you just look stupid because there's so much lag. Yeah. Um, all right. Using that dash tag, that's interesting. Full stage burst. Um, see, look, that grab... If James just drifted the other way, that grab would have landed, but James mixed up his drift. Um, and then got... Just got hit. All right, James taking center stage. Yeah, James always tricking with his movement. That that uh, pop gun reverse, Z drop banana, set up a trap. But Webb always sharking, always ready to go for something aggressive. Coming in and out. Yeah, Webb playing more patient. He's not chasing after the opportunities right now. Exactly, and you can't be like landing into Diddy Kong a lot of the times. You gotta really just let him whiff first, and then go from there. Because Diddy is the whiff punish master. Like if you throw out a bad move against Diddy, you're gonna get hit. Yeah. And Webb finding that back air—that's crucial. Getting him. Yep. Nice. That move is so good on the ledge. And I feel like I haven't seen it this set so far, so it was good for him to use it. That should have worked. I feel like. I feel like he knew that he was gonna air dodge and wanted to up smash there. It just missed. Wow. Yeah, yeah, grabbing the grab. Z drop. Webb was reacting so fast to everything there, but just wasn't fast enough in the grab. Yeah, James playing this super methodically, yep, and just getting a stop. Getting yeah, put in the ledge like that is just. He just Ooh. used the banana. He didn't chase after anything. Okay, so it could be some damage. I'm surprised he didn't dash drag there. I feel like the dash drag would have led to a little bit more damage. Wow, ran him with the jab. That was nice. Getting scrappy right now. Oh! Fair. Trade. Nice, calling out that spot dodge, super good. Oh, they're just trying to call each other out. Ooh. Yeah, Webb is playing the neutral amazingly right yeah, now, actually. He's playing so safe and just weaving in and out of James's range constantly. Okay. Nothing too big off this banana right, yet. A little. I don't I don't like that side beat. This is so back and forth. Okay, James pushing him towards the ledge. This is big. Because Webb can get stuck here and take some damage. All right, getting out. Such a he just chased James him. has landed those monkey flips on this stage. I feel like James Both is games. just the best at using monkey flip. I feel like I get hit by James monkey flip more than any other Diddy. He uses that as a juggling tool. Like the uh, fact that he kept him in the air with it and continued his advantage like that, even all the way across the stage. Yeah. 
His awareness with that move is so good. You gotta have a feel for Monkey Flip at that point, you know? You can't just be using it. Oh my gosh, wow. what the heck happened there? Well, that's what happens when you're a short character. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about that. Um, I'll smash, yep. Yeah, another big whiff from Webb. I feel like... Yeah, he's gotta check himself on those a little bit. Yeah, it's just tough because he's been getting good reward when he's been getting these grabs and they've been working out, but when you're missing a high percents... Yeah, does he get a kill off him? Most of the time you're not killing, but he's at least getting a favorable position and some damage. Yeah, James. James looking to end it right here. Webb's got to play this ledge right here. Oh, why do you give him the stage? All right, that worked out. Do you see it? James is moving his mad slick yeah, on this platform, Yeah, both man. of these guys are so technical. I mean, Webb's got the movement around the platforms, too. Exactly. I'm not sleeping on them. And catching him again with that side B. Let's go, Webb. All right, Webb just needs one like clean hit into an up, up smash. Dude, did you see that silent paralyzer right there? That was interesting. I don't know why that happened. Um, up air, up air. Okay, this could be something. Catching up. Yeah, you <gasps> can see that Webb has the game. He's yeah, he, feeling it right now. Yeah, he's like, all right. Oh my gosh. He's down 2-0, but he's ready to bring the ship yeah, back. Yeah, he was he was playing real scary right there. He was sharking hard for his win. Okay. Oh, putting him on that platform, ready for the juggle, wow. and just getting caught. Wow. Dude, Webb was looking really scary, actually. I, I thought he could have pulled that out. Yeah. And James did something at the end there where he set him up, and he kind of, he has, James waited because he was looking for, like, kind of a choke option, but Webb ended up getting, he had a nice smooth, I think he teched in. And I forget I, what it is. Let me see this again. And I feel like an, an average player realizes that the momentum is in Webb's favor in that situation and just calms down, and James just has the awareness and wherewithal. James waited right there. Yeah. And then but watch this right here. And then he just grab off it. James was like, even though he was kind of in a situation where he was on the defensive, he was still ready to attack. Like, his awareness is just too good. Yeah. Like, Because even though the momentum was in Webb's favor, he just took what was his.